Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague, Raleigh, North Carolina. We're gonna talk about what's new for 2023 plane. We're gonna talk about what's new for 2023 Forerunner and answer a viewer email all in the same breath. Woo! All right, Kevin, thank you for writing. I appreciate it. I'm on the waiting list for a Forerunner TRD Pro, Lime Rush. Love the color. No hope in sight of getting one. What do I do? Well, Kevin, that's a very difficult vehicle to get. You're probably gonna wait a while. Hopefully you get a Lime Rush one. I'm holding out hope for you, my friend. But if you want the Lime Rush, now you can get it 2023 in TRD Sport and TRD Off-Road. To me, TRD Sport is kind of a combination of, well, an SR5 Premium meets Limited meets, I don't know what it is, a TRD Sport, but it's available in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. This one is two-wheel drive. That starts at about 41.6 MSRP, plus, plus, plus. The Four-wheel drive starts at about 43.5, so just a little bit under 2,000 more to get the four-wheel. And everybody, thank you for being here. One little favor to ask. First, look at carsandbids.com. Just kidding, Doug. Anyway, check out my second channel. It's Auto Jeff Reviews. It looks at Toyota, but all brands. So you can see technology, safety, styling, what's across there, what's out there. It's right here in the link. Thank you guys so much. Now back to the show. To me, three defining features that really set this apart from other trim levels. We've got the hood scoop. You've got 20 inch wheels, alloy baby. And then we've also got the x rayus sport enhancement suspension. A lot of people buy the limited because they like the on-road ride. It's smooth, it's quiet, it's comfortable because of that x rayus sport enhancement suspension. Now it's available on the sport. So it's a ride like a Limited. Also like the Limited, we've got these 20 inch alloy wheels. They're sort of a silver metallic, medium gray color. If you get the Limited, you'll get 20 inch wheels, same design, but they'll be in chrome. And then you'll get the hood scoop. You'll know it's TRD Sport. We've also got a combination of color keyed meets chrome. So we've got chrome up top, then we've got these thick horizontal accents. Very nice looking, it's got LED, high beams, low beams, and LED fog lights. That's impressive. What's the ground clearance? Ground clearance could either be nine inches, 9.0, or 9.6. 9.6 for the four x four, 9.0 for the four x two that you see here. Plane across the board, another change for 2023, right here. We're breaking apart, Captain. I'm giving her all she's got. It has blind spot monitor, standard. Before on the TRD Sport for 2022, you had to get the technology package, not now. Woo! So take a look at the profile. It's tall, it's sturdy, it's rugged, body on frame design. One of the last body on frames available, the last sheriff in the West, my friends. It has auto start, auto lock and unlock on the front doors, that's nice. This is an upgraded option from the regional assembly point, night shade, Running boards. Looking for the nightshade, baby, this evening. I want some running boards, baby, tonight. TRD Sport. We've got black rails across. And then look here, moonroof, no. All right, so we're, we're fading out. What do we think? Oh, I just hit my tripod. Let's do the lift. We did the lift, it's got lifts. That's a huge benefit there. Got hood blanket here, 4.0 liter V6 engine, 270 horsepower and 278 pound feet of torque. It's got enough chops, enough muscle to get you through an obstacle, to get you up a hill, to pull out into traffic and to get up a highway. It's not the fastest vehicle you've ever seen. Darn those planes. I love them, but I'm trying to film here. It's matched with a five speed automatic transmission. One of the easiest numbers to ever remember specifications wise is gonna to be towing capacity. It's always 5,000 pounds with every trim level and this is no exception. It's got a power vertical window, it needs to be washed. You can lock and unlock it right back here. Just hit those triangles, chrome, chrome. Then we've got this right here. Oh, wow, okay. Sliding rear cargo deck. This is a $350 option. We can pop ourselves up like this. It's tall. We can sit like this. Pretty tall, even here. And of course back here, it's even taller. This holds 440 pounds. 
Great place to watch a game, fireworks, or use it like a workbench, or uh, arm wrestling. Some other things I notice, 400 watt power outlet, 12 volt circular. We've got spots here for, well, can't read it. No, it's a front license plate bracket. We've got tie downs, all four corners like this, but we've also got child safety latches. We gotta make sure we point those out because a lot of families might be interested in how you clip the latches. If we wanna make a little bit of extra room, well, unclip, we got a strap here. Then we can lower these, pop this down, and look at that. It goes a flat surface. That one can go a little bit more, just a little bit more stacking room, straight up. Now, baby, do you really wanna love me forever? Oh, oh, oh. Spot in 80. The back seat has USB ports and it has rear air vents, so that's nice. Just like that, we've got two USB C's, we've got NET, N E T, NET. And then look at all the room. It's tall. It's for lanky people. Good leg room, great head room. Let's look on the passenger side. You'll notice that it does not have a power passenger seat. That's for the back of the seat. Look at this material. It's got the light gray to go with the black soft tex. It's very light, very airy. TRD headrest. That's pretty cool. And then we've got, let's call this a little storage shelf. This is a soft touch for armrest. And then nice big bottle holders here that could fit quite a bit going upward. And a lot of different metallic accents here that break up the black and gray interior. I like variety. I like the big chunky handles, I mean dials that you would see right here. Are they handles or are they dials? They're certainly not handles. Then we've got pockets and pockets for things. The back window. What do we got in here? Let's show them, Johnny. We've got 12 volt circular, leather wrapped steering wheel. Ooh, fancy. So yeah, looking across, we've got good visibility all the way around. Lots of window space for lots of windshield time. Big front windshield, ho! That's big, B-I-G, big, baby. And we got voice commands, our safety commands. It's all there. This is a 4.2 inch information display right here that shows us different pieces of information that we might need. This is all one touch windows too. You wanna know why I say plain? There's one. We're right by Raleigh-Durham Airport. They take off, they land. We want them to be safe and have a great flight. So what if they interrupt my video? All right, we've got lumbar support, eight-way power, drive a seat, and then over here, da 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 we have an eight-inch multimedia touchscreen that can show us different information about our vehicle. Sirius XM. Not the best graphics, but I suppose it works. Wake me up when September ends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. USB-A, TRD shifter, TRD, boom, there it is, TRD sport. Matt, auto dimming rear view mirror. This one does not have off-roading resources and you'd probably expect that, but we gotta tell you, no locking rear differential, no crawl control, no multi-terrain select. That's not what this vehicle is about, but it is four wheel drive or two wheel drive. So you can do things with it than just driving it on the road. We've got the SOS for the safety connect and then we've got lighted mirrors with sliders. Let's take a look at the window sticker so we can learn more about it. It's the two wheel drive TRD Sport. This is the one that'll be 41.6. It'll be 43.5 if you get the four wheel drive. 
Made in Japan, Lime Rush. Do you like the color? 17 combined, 16 city, 19 highway. We've got standard equipment here. Just take a look. Oh, you know what? I want to show you Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Did I say that already? I forget. X Reyes, X R E A S, Sport Enhancement Suspension. Right there. 41.6, cargo deck. And then the Keep It Wild Savings. I like having that because it takes away from the cost of the cargo deck. It's like it was for free with 150 more to spare. All right, we've got the destination charge. And then each vehicle that you see on your dealer's lot will have no options from the regional port, some options or a lot of options. Just take a look at these and see if they're of interest to you. I like the nightshade running boards, like the LED interior lights. All right, and then this one, as it sits right here, is 45,367. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you think of the Lime Rush, of the TRD Sport, of 4Runner in general. Are you excited about this one? Are you excited about the sixth generation coming down the pipeline? Not much information is out. We can only speculate for now. All right, thanks so much. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at Toyota Jeff Reviews, and I'd love for you to try out my second channel, Auto Jeff Reviews, A-U-T-O-J-E-F-F, -F, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks, everybody, so much. See you next time.